Good morning, everybody. 17 minutes after the, or, after the hour. Welcome back. And I'm thinking about Oregon. I'm thinking about the Pacific Crest Trail. And I've got Jason Castor on the phone with me this morning. He's, he's in a trail town. He's at mile marker 266, and he started at zero. Can't hardly believe it. He started hiking the Pacific Crest Trail uh, April 21st, and it's been a 10-year-long mission for him as he's gotten ready to go. And, Jason, it's great to have you on the phone. You're kind of, what are you doing? Just kind of taking a break, waiting for a resupply? Yeah, kind of both. Uh, there's towns along the trail that are, are really close to the trail, and, and you're able to, you know, get a hotel room and, and buy more food and, and things like that. And so um, today's kind of one of those days where I'm giving the feet a rest and, and buying food and, and just uh, recovering. Exactly right. Now, how is your gear holding out, and have you had anything – uh, that you needed or didn't need? Yeah, I've had gear that I sent home um, that, you know, I just wasn't using, um, mostly just small little things. Right, gotcha, um, okay. You know, like the measuring cup that came with my jet boil or the stand that held the jet boil up, little things like that um, that just add up. Uh, oh, no major gear. Right, changes. right. Good, good, good. All right. Well, I figured as yeah. much. It's just adjusting that little, those little things. And you know what? I, I get how that is because you pack it around, and after about two days, it stayed in your pouch and never used it. You're thinking, okay, I need to get rid of this. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want it on your back because those, those pounds add up, and, and you really do feel every pound on the trail. It, you know, that backpack, the weight makes such a big difference, and you know, it's it's nice to cut weight where you can. Exactly uh, right. Well, Jason, like I said, 10 years, and you've had uh, mediocre weather, right? You've had kind of a mix of everything. I saw in your updates there's been uh, low clouds. There's been some thunderstorm. You got out of a rainstorm, I guess, by grabbing a cabin, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually hurricane-force winds uh, going on on the uh, peak of... Um, Mount Laguna, which is a, a another uh, trail town that you kind of go through there, and so as we were getting in, the winds were increasing rapidly, and and uh, we were able to split a cabin with some other hikers and and hunker down for the night. Fortunately, some people actually weathered the night in a tent. I don't know how they did get blown away. Oh my <laughs> gosh, yeah. I don't yeah. know how they do that because it's double stakes or something. So, uh, Jason, one thing that we talked about when you were in the studio was. Uh, there's so many permits being issued for the Pacific Crest Trail, they have to kind of regulate daily. Are you able to spread out once you get onto the trail? Uh, or is oh, it, yeah. Okay, so it's you still isn't yeah. like a small highway, if you would, of people? Yeah, no, I had expected to see a lot more people, and, and there are a good number of people out there, but um, there's been you know stretches on, on some days where I, I hike alone for most of the day and, and only see maybe one or two other people. Um, and then there's other days where I hike with a group of people that I know, you know, just for fun. So, oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, it's a nice mix, actually. It's not as bad as I had expected it to be. Wow, uh, good deal. Well, mile marker 266, and we're talking all the way up to the uh, British Columbia and all up in there. And what do we figure? It's 2650 or something like that total? Yeah, yeah, 2600. 63, I think. Oh, my gosh, yeah, yeah. So, 266, <laughs> where does that put you in the state of California now? I'm in uh, Big Bear Lake, California. Okay, okay, that's where 266 yeah. is. All right, good deal. Yeah. And uh, let's see, since April, so have you kind of calculated your your weekly rate of where you're at mileage-wise? Yeah, um, are, you, are you asking like, well, how many miles per week I'm hiking? Yeah, kind of where you started and where you, I guess, keep track of how many miles per week or per that kind of thing. Have you even concerned yeah. about that at all? Um, no, I've, I've kind of like paid attention to my um, hourly rates and my daily rates. So I'm, I'm hiking at an average of two and a half hours a day and then um, or two and a half, two and a half miles per hour i'm sorry okay and okay. then um about uh 15 to 20 miles per day on oh, gotcha, so gotcha. you know in a week you know you take that time seven you know up to 140 miles in a week right. would be a, a maximum but you, then you have to throw in um these trail town days where i'm you know taking the rest day or i you know there's some days where i just do a few miles to get into the town 
Exactly right, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. thinking that people are listening. They're going, what in the world does he eat and where does he make his food? I mean, you know, there's all of that, right? The, the lunch stops, the dinner stops, the breakfast stops. I guess you, you yeah. um, I would think your big meal would be what, dinner or lunch? How do you work that? Yeah, dinner is usually my biggest meal. Um, for lunch, I kind of snack throughout the day. I'll have a, you know, a bar at like 10 and then, you know, some dehydrated fruit at noon and then, you know, another bar at two and then some trail mix at four. And then, you know, in the evening, like at seven, I'll actually make a, an actual meal. And uh, breakfast is kind of like the uh, the same as the the snacking. You know, you you might make some oatmeal, but a lot of times you just have like a a granola bar and and like a bit of dehydrated fruit. So it's it's really just eating as you go, so that you don't have to uh, take too many stops and you know keep your pace up. Well, exactly right. And you've got your calorie count because how are you on your weight? Um, I I haven't you know stood on a scale and and uh. You know, looking in the mirror, I don't notice too dramatic of a change okay. really at all. So I don't, I don't think I've lost much weight. I've, I've probably lost, you know, maybe three or four pounds, okay. but all nothing right. so you're, dramatic. Well, so. keeping, the, yeah, keeping the calories up, staying hydrated, you've got all that worked out, so that's great. Well, good deal. Well, Jason, uh, Godspeed, and it's great to hear from you on the trail. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Castor, he's hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, the entire trail, all 2,663 miles. And uh, he's on number 266, so he's going to be going all the way through September. This is really a fascinating, and it's great to watch, Jason. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, thanks for having me on. You bet, you <laughs> bet. Like I said, keep us uh, posted, and we're following along and posting up on our Facebook pages, so we'll, we'll follow along that way until you've got time to get back to the, the next break, I guess. Yeah. Yep. All right. My next town will be Wrightwood, so All right, good a, deal. Uh, at least a week. Yep. Thanks, Jason. Take care. All right, thanks.